Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <coughs> I mean, Merry Saturalia, boys and girls! Tamriel's most festive holiday is right around the corner. Hope you have a glass of milk and cookies waiting for good old me, otherwise, no presents for you! See you on the 25th of the evening star! Ho, 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 ho! I don't know about you, but I want my gifts. Let's get cracking on some cookies and milk, but we put in a Skyrim twist. We're making some birch cookies and sweet nog from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. Starting with the birch cookies, to make the dough cream together, three quarter cups of sugar with one and a half sticks of unsalted butter. Mix that up and make sure it's well creamed. Then add in two teaspoons of vanilla, a pinch of salt, one egg, one teaspoon of nutmeg and then gradually add in up to two and a half cups of flour until you have a dough that's not sticky but also not dry and crumbly flatten it into a disc wrap it in plastic and refrigerate for an hour after it's done chilling roll out the dough into ropes that are no more than an inch thick and cut them into pieces that are around three to four inches in length make the slices and angles so you get a rough natural look save some dough to use as little branches that stick out of the main trunk once you got your trunks all set bake them in the oven at 350 degrees fahrenheit the book says to bake them for 12 minutes but i baked mine for an additional five because it looked undercooked when done leave on a cooling rack and let it cool completely now for the frosting, mix together three tablespoons of unsalted butter, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a dash of rum, and four to six teaspoons of heavy cream. Add the cream a bit at a time and stop when you get a nice, thick, spreadable consistency. When the cookies are completely cooled, spread the frosting on the cookies. For me, the best method was using the back of a teaspoon to cover the branch. When you're happy with your coverage, add some more texture detail by using a fork to carve out some wood grain lines, finish it off with a dusting of nutmeg, and you have yourself some cute little birch cookies. Oh, oh, that will get you out of the naughty list. Now let's make some sweet nog to wash it all down, but first we need to make the sweet nog special ingredient, the Nord Spices. Mix together one and a half tablespoons of ground cardamom, three quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground mace. I didn't have mace, but apparently nutmeg is a really good replacement, so I'll use that instead. A quarter teaspoon of ground cloves and one eighth of a teaspoon of ground grains of paradise. I also didn't have any grains of paradise, but apparently black pepper is a good substitute, so that's what I used. This is a spice blend that has a warming feel and is great for desserts, baked goods, and hot drinks, so feel free to experiment. Now on to the nog. In a bowl, combine six egg yolks, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of the Nord spices that you just made, one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, half a cup of brandy, and one cup of whole milk. Set this mixture over a pot of simmering water, double boiler style, and whisk it gently for five to 10 minutes. I went with 10 just to be sure that the eggs are cooked. After cooking, pour the contents in a glass bottle using a strainer and let it cool down before you put it in the fridge. You can serve it cold, you can serve it hot. I think Sam is gonna like it either way. These birch cookies and sweet nog look like the perfect Saturalia snacks, but looks can be deceiving. Let's try these out. For the birch cookies, yeah, they do look super cool and they do look like logs, but I was worried that its thickness would make it taste too dry on the inside. But surprisingly, they actually tasted really good. The Nord Spice combo really comes through and gives it a unique taste and the icing to dough ratio was perfect. Texture wise, it was the perfect balance of crunchy and chewy, so I was really impressed. Now let's take a swig of our sweet nog. At first sip, I got smacked in the face with the brandy. If that's how you like your eggnog, then no adjustments needed, but for me, it's too overwhelming. It also came out pretty thick, so I think this is the perfect opportunity to dilute it a little. After adding some more milk, I took another sip and was very pleasantly surprised by how nice it was. The flavors were a lot more subtle, but still very comforting. I can easily down a whole glass of this diluted version. And of course, if we got cookies and milk, you gotta try putting them together, it's a must! And man, these are great together, the nog makes the cookie a bit softer, and the spices in each blend harmoniously. Santa would be very happy if he had these waiting for him. 
I highly recommend these recipes from the Elder Scrolls cookbook, so if you're feeling like adding a bit of Skyrim to your holiday celebrations, you should definitely check these out. 